Hey guys, it's Jen, and today we're going to be going over Haven Magazine. Grab your coffee, grab your Ferrari, let's go. Number one, look at the cover. Where is this? I don't know. Doesn't matter. It's not my listing. We're going to go to my listing. This is Fell Acres. This is 2.92 acres in Sacramento. Look at how amazing and beautiful. Someone's going to get a great deal here. And you should buy it. It is $900,000 for 2.92 acres of land in Sacramento. 4155 Fall Street. Here's my information. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for listening to that because y'all, if you don't buy it, I will. But let's take a look at some other things we're gonna put on the list here. The Hacienda Ranch is 45 million. This is 3,100 acres, okay? So this is like, my listing is a really good start. And then when you're ready to kind of expand, you can go and look at, it's just like a, a winery in the uh, mountains here. There's water. Um, here is the house. Look at these long driveways, palm trees, beautiful, beautiful listing. This is in Santa Rosa, the stunning legacy estate. This is in Cloverdale. Some of you don't even know where these areas are in California. That's okay. California is huge. And, you know, some areas you just would not expect to have these beautiful listings. Here is Santa Ynez Valley. 26,950,000 for what? 52 bedroom, 58 baths. 7355 Happy Canyon. Holy. This is all they give you. The driveway. This is where you're going to sit. There's two swans. And that's a house or something. 52 bedrooms and 58 baths. That's like, I look for houses like this because like when I do 50 year planner events, I want to have 50 people there and then 50 guests and then me and then maybe my assistant. Happy Canyon Road. That's, that's on the list. I like that. 507 Cambridge Street. Oh, this is on the cover. This is in Cambria. Five bedrooms, four baths, 2.9875. Look at that looks so cute with the hot tub. That's that's luxury right there. That scene that you could create in any house, in a backyard, on a patio. I, I find that luxurious. You may find other things luxurious. 18070 Barnard Road in Morgan Hill, 3.5. That's not bad for 3.5. And Morgan Hill, that's a nice little house right there. Oh, she got two pages. Nice. 777, that's very lucky. La Hontra Drive in Truckee. Truckee is out by uh, the Tahoe area. Five bedrooms, six baths, $5.25 million. Look at that. That's nice. Mosquitoes though. You gotta think about the mosquitoes. That's a nice kitchen. Nice, nice kitchen. The Coracon. Cor, cor, cor and I, I can't say it. I don't know, but. 1522 Riata Road. This is uh, what? Monterey? It looks like it. That's Monterey. Look at how beautiful that is. Monterey Colonial. Pebble Beach. It's two plus acres. Sorry, I'm reading it. I don't know if I'm getting a good camera view. This is my first time doing a magazine kind of walkthrough with you guys. For some me being in a magazine. 63034 Highway 33, Coalinga. Ooh. Okay, how much? Oh, that's a million dollars right there. It looks hot. Does that look hot? 
when you just grow in these agave plants or whatever they are. Okay, this guy, he looks like he knows what he's doing. He looks, this is your ranch land guy. Look at that guy. What do you got for us today? The SZ Ranch, 719 acres for 4.75. What are you gonna do with 719 acres? It's fully operational ranch. Oh, so you must just do cows because the cows need to herd. Cool. Kevin, what else you got? 35 years of experience. That's how old I am right now. He also has Greenlee Hell Ranch, half a million dollars, 45 acres in the middle of the woods. Yeah, some people are into it. So these are the California beach communities. Salinas, Morro Bay, to Summerlin. Summerlin, I feel like, is in Las Vegas. To Guadalupe, California. Santa Cruz, Watsonville. Um, I like Monterey. Pismo Beach, Del Norte, of course, love Humboldt County. Oric, Trinidad, McKinleyville, Eureka, I've been to. Fortuna is awesome. Ferndale's cool. San Luis Obispo is awesome. Mendocino is awesome. Fort Bragg is awesome. I mean, oh, come on, California has so much coastline. It's beautiful on any coast because of the positive energy that the ocean gives off. Oh, look at that. Custom Ocean View Estate. 1984 Arriba Street in Carpentiera. I'm not sure where that is. Seven bedrooms, six full baths, three half baths, as featured in Mansion Global. Um, price point is about six. So wine cellar. Why do mansions always have wine cellars? And I've been looking into this. It's because you can buy wine and then resell it. And it's like, it's, a, it's part of your like money making portfolio. And that's why you're always going to see a wine cellar. If you are thinking about, you know, getting into this kind of like rich and famous lifestyle, do some research on wine. You're always going to see a wine cellar in here. And this is another way that the rich make money. Foam Street, Unit B in Monterey. <coughs> Foam Street means there is a view of the ocean. It's like a fourplex. Oh, it's nice. It's a nice little, what is this? Like an outdoor space? I'm not sure. Oh, is that the floor? Is it stone floor? Santa Barbara. 1507 Alameda Padre Sierra, Santa Barbara. Oh, love this fire pit style. This is great, especially if it's like really windy and you don't want it dirty. Even though you have all this, you could kind of uh, use. These little outdoor fire pits really make a nice little area for everyone. A nice outdoor space. Another one in Santa Barbara, four bedroom. Four and a half baths, about ten million dollars. That's what a ten million dollar house looks like. Ooh, look at that. Okay, one thing I don't like is beams, and this is my own personal opinion because I'm crazy and super suspicious about stuff. Um, I'm living in a room with beams right now. I don't prefer them because, especially in like a sleeping room, like this cuts energy, and um, you may have health or relationship problems. With beams, I always say avoid beams. Some people love beams. This is just my personal opinion. Whatever really works for you. And um, if you sleep, so say this is your bed and you sleep this way and there's a beam, you're gonna be single. If, you, if the beam is this way, you're gonna have health problems. This is some old Chinese feng shui um, suspicion and I believe it. So that's why it's true for me. If you don't believe it, it won't be true for you. And I just want to throw that out there. Open concept living space, four bedroom, two bath, 1.3 in Santa Barbara. So it's just a little simple house, but it's the location you're really paying for. And they did a nice job remodeling. Um, some more advertisements here for other agents. 1919 Richard Ave in Cambria, Sunset. 
Oh, because this is the view. Get to see. It's nice. Majestic Spanish Colonial. 5764 Paseo Vista Place in Monterey. Oh, love this feature right here. This rock feature. Um, there's a lot of famous houses out here that have these rock features and kind of a spiral stair. This is hot. I love this. This is very um, Monterey. 4.5 million, four bedrooms, five baths. Yeah, the stone on here is great. Love this island. Oh, look at the chandelier. Sorry, I've been doing some yard work and um, my fingers are dirty. Because I hustle. I apologize. But it is what it is. 615 Clubhouse Drive in Aptos. I'm seeing a lot of uh, million dollar houses in Aptos. And it's out somewhere. Malibu Aptos. Look at how nice and big this driveway is. Look at that pool. Looks like it's a water beachfront community. And this is three beds, two and a half baths at four million. Okay, and this is a advertisement for a light, something. Okay, so this is the modern beachfront home. What I like about the style is I see a lot of this kind of cutting into the um, hillside. I see this a lot in Clear Lake too. There's We have a lot of mountains here. We are an earthquake area. You're gonna have to carve into the mountain for some of these homes. But look at the views you get. This is what you're kind of paying for. So this one, Sotheby's International, they do a lot of luxury real estate. 6.25, three bedrooms, three and a half bath. This is what you're paying for. You're paying for the positive energy that comes off the ocean, um, the attitude, just like the chillness. Look at this. You can all just like chill looking at the water. Gualala. I have no idea where Gualala is, but it looks like it's, um, anytime you see kind of this earthy look, I know it's ready in the forest, look at all these trees, and it, oh, this is actually ocean property with the forest, okay. Gorgeous ocean view property. Wow, so you can know this is old money because um, these are the old tractor trailers that they use to farm. And they have a nice little outdoor area for people here. I think this is the same. They did two pages. And look at you get a view of this little island out here. Fort Bragg. Okay, so this is more of a northern California past Sacramento. Three bedrooms, two baths offered at how much? You're not even going to say. Oh, $7.99. It's right there. $800,000. This is a cute little community, Fort Bragg. Um, it's a scene. Greg, Greg probably just dominates the market here. He's got two pages. And then you also have three bedrooms, two baths at 1.25 million. Look at that. It almost looks like um, a landing strip for a plane. That's what you're paying for, being right there on the ocean. Kind of more of a mature audience. It's beautiful. Trinidad. <coughs> Trinidad is way northern California. I haven't even been up there. But look at how pretty. 829 Edwards Street is 1.325. It's two bedroom, two bath, but you are right there on the water. Oh, they got two pages. Cool. Yeah, that's what you're paying for right there. Again, I'm not a fan of the beams, but, you know, to each its own. Look at your cooking dinner. Looking over the ocean, that's beautiful. Okay, so now we're talking about lake fronts. Now, why I like lake fronts more than um, ocean fronts is because they're not as volatile as the ocean. If there's a big storm or something, lake's not really gonna shake it up. Folsom Lake, you guys have seen, I've been out on Folsom Lake, it's so beautiful. Lake Almador, I have not been on, but it looks beautiful. Big Bear Lake, that's in, um, 
Southern California, and then Lake Tahoe, of course. Of course. Lake Tahoe. Okay, so the South Lake Tahoe. If you love